Yo, bruh. Uh, yeah, bruh. No, not you, Shiggles. The listener. Oh, sorry, Gates. Yeah, yeah, you are. The Intergalactic Boombox has some super-duper limited edition stickers. Yeah, it looks like the logo. Yeah. But there's no words on it. <laughs> uh, hey, why aren't there any words on it? Shiggles, it's so people will say, bruh. Nice sticker. What's it for? Oh, yeah, and they can say it's for the Intergalactic Boombox. Right. Yeah, a totally awesome podcast you need to listen to. Yeah, we're trying some grassroots marketing mixed with podcasting 2.0 awesomeness. What do you mean? Well, first, you got to be listening to this show on a podcasting 2.0 app like Fountain. Fountain Fountain.fm. This app pays you as you listen to podcasts. And it collects in a wallet within the app. When you listen to a value-for-value-enabled podcast like the Intergalactic Boombox, you can send a customizable amount of micropayments as you listen. Oh. Just set the dial to donate per minute or manually with a boost. Oh, yeah, boost. Boost! That's how you send a message to the podcaster, right? Yeah, it's called a boostagram. So if anyone wants to get their hands on a limited edition IBB sticker, Mm -hmm. they need to send a boostagram. By Joe, I think you've got it. What have I got? Never mind. The amounts you send on a podcasting 2.0 app are called sats or satoshis, the smallest unit of Bitcoin, fractions of a penny. Right, so how many sats does the listener need to send in a boostergram to the show? I, 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 well, to get the sticker and cover the shipping, 25,000 sats. That's equal to roughly five U.S. dollars. Oh, that's brilliant, man. Yeah, bro. Oh, sorry. Bro. And just FYI, if you're listening on Apple, Spotify, Google, Amazon, or other mainstream podcast apps, yeah. There's no way to send value for value support to podcasters. You gotta use a podcasting 2.0 app. A call to action. Exact eh? mundo. There's a good list of awesome apps at newpodcastapps.com. But the easiest way to get started is to download Fountain on iOS or Android. More info at fountain.fm. And then start listening to all your favorite podcasts and start earning sats that will store in the wallet inside the Fountain app. Yeah, and then you can turn around and start giving those sats back to show some love. Uh, well, cool your jets, shivels. Snag a super duper limited edition intergalactic boombox sticker by sending a boostagram of 25,000 sats. That equals about five US dollars. And include a message saying something like, I want a sticker, bruh. And include your email address so we can contact you to mail it out and stuff. Boostagrams of any amount lower, uh, that, that's not going to count. No can do, buckaroo. I mean, you could always boost more. We won't complain. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Anyone who boosts the 25,000 sats or more or more we'll get a special shout out on a future episode of this fine audio presentation that's cool and we'll be the owner of a shiny sticker conversation piece again you can only do this on a podcasting 2.0 app and this is the only way to get a hold of this limited edition stick. Trying to make this show go viral with your word of mouth boots on the ground I don't have boots will crocs suffice? bruh <laughs> Attention all podcasts of the Solar Federation. We have assumed control. We have assumed control. We have assumed control. The Intergalactic Boombox. So, like, what happens when you touch Dwayne Johnson's butt? Oh, that's easy. You hit rock bottom. Who are you, Kevin Hart? Where do fruits go on vacation? I don't know. Paris. Oh, yeah, I knew that. I gave away all my dead batteries today. Yeah? Yeah, free of charge. Bruh. Yeah, bruh. Good morning, Starshine. The Earth says hello. Welcome to the Intergalactic Boombox, podcasting in orbit high above your consciousness. Gets. Yo. Shiggles. Hello. Ahead one quarter impulse power. What if we could, but we can't because we don't know how. Yeah, what's that mean? You have a quarter? I do. I has 25 cents. You don't have any cents, Shiggles. Anyway, I'm Kyle Hebert, voice actor from anime and games like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Naruto, Bleach, My Hero Academia, Sonic, Pokemon, Digimon, Resident Evil, Final Fantasy, and many others. The Intergalactic Boombox is brought to you by the Alphabet, where all letters come from. We're also brought to you by Mark Wahlberg's Third Nipple. And the National Association of People Who Can't Believe Katy Perry Has a Cat Named Kitty Purry. Oh, we know what that means. Sat Cats gotta give some love to the people who gave the show some love on a podcasting 2.0 app by sending boosts! MJ Munoz sent 475 sats and says, Moof Milker, one of the best things to come out of the Star Wars sequel trilogy. Only an okay show. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Boosted 10 sats and says, Go Podcasting! 
<laughs> John, 24 Sat says, since light travels faster than sound, people may appear bright until you hear them speak. Ah. Amen. KFAN boosted 9,500 sats. Hey, Kyle, loving this show. The perfect quick listen while walking the dog around the block in the rain. Keep podcasting. Thank you, sir. Megan boosted 95 sats and says, hilarious. Zyka Boy boosted 20 sats and says, well done, Carl. Ah! Yay. DW Duck boosted 95 sats and says, I am a method actor. Response, meth maybe. That's from last week's episode. Go check it out. Where Karen Complainer thinks she's a voice actor. DW Duck says, made him snort his whipped cream. Hope you're at least 21 years of age. If you live in New York anyway. Also see last week's episode for more info on that. Hobbit Nuts boosted 950 sats. Throwing sats like tomatoes. Don't you love on those old time movies and things? People would like get booed off the stage by people throwing lettuce and tomatoes. It's like, why were they even bringing lettuce and tomatoes to these live shows? Joel W. boosted 316 sats and says, pew, pew. Quirkin loves the show and boosted 24 sats. Chandler Bing Coins has great podcast as usual. Thanks for the 19 sats. And Scope 78 cent 50 sats says, funny show. It's worth 8.0085 chuckles. Well, if we're splitting hairs which I have none. The question of the week. What video games are you looking forward to? Saints and Sats boosted 950 sats and says, if only I had time for new video games. Occasionally I break out the old 90s PC games for nostalgia. Warcraft 2, anyone? They're free online. Pocket Parlay boosted 2,850 sats and says, I'm so excited for the return of Tiger Woods to video games. PGA 2K23 comes out October 14th. Now I just hope it's as good as it looks. 2013 was the last game he did with EA Games. 16 years later. Crazy! Rich Rose boosted 475 sats and says, No video games because I have kids who still don't realize our PS4 can play games. <laughs> I remember getting a PS3, and that's when Blu-ray players came out, and PS3 was like the cheapest Blu-ray player. So I got one and said... I got a Blu-ray player that plays video games. Max 300 Freak says The Legend of Heroes, Trails from Zero. Zaffy says Splatoon 3 and Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Kuragari says Splatoon 3. Mikey Ederer says Splatoon 3. I see a pattern here. Me too. I'm a huge Splatoon fan. Splatoon 2 is my favorite Switch game to this day. And I have a feeling it's about to get supplanted this weekend with Splatoon 3. Black ACC says Could only really think of Spider-Man 2 and Sons of the Forest. Alejandro says Hollow Knight sequel, Silk Song. Ultra Vegito says Overwatch 2. Superior Chief says either Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Oh yeah, I'm all over that. Can't wait. And Dragon Ball Time Breakers. Justin Eden says God of War Ragnarok. Happy Grunt also says Dragon Ball Breakers. Ido says Street Fighter 6 and Splatoon 3. No question. So there's two big fantasy streaming series now. In case you live under a rock. Game of Thrones prequel House of the Dragon and Lord of the Rings prequel Rings of Power. Which do you prefer, and why? I did love me some Lord of the Rings back in the day. I never saw The Hobbit, because I thought it was just kind of pointless. Expanding a single book into three overly long movies padded with lots of additional material that seemed completely unnecessary. Rings of Power doesn't grab me, so I haven't watched it. Therefore, I can't truthfully compare. But uh, after hearing more positive reviews about House of the Dragon, I decided to give that one a go, and I was hooked. The trailer made it look like a bunch of Game of Thrones cosplayers, but so far, it more than makes up for that final Game of Thrones season where the writers just gave up and took a royal dump on all the beloved characters. And with House of the Dragon, we are only three episodes in. Matt Smith, man, he's fantastic. Or as my wife calls him, that flying phone booth guy. Who? Exactly, Doctor Who. Which doctor? Who? He's not a witch doctor. Well, which doctor is he? Shiggles, stop thinking, you'll hurt yourself. Who? You. Wait a tick. So who is Matt Smith? Well, one of them was. Anyway, have you checked out House of the Dragon or Rings of Power and or both? Which one's better? Or do neither catch your eye? Boost your thoughts on a podcasting 2.0 app from newpodcastapps.com or reply on Twitter at BoomboxPod. Our first names always have some sort of story behind them. Perhaps you're named after a relative, or your parents like how something sounded, or they chose it for its original meaning from another language. My name, Kyle, is Irish Gaelic for handsome. 
I don't know what my folks were thinking, but now in the day of pop culture media entertainment, generations to come are going to either be flattered or highly embarrassed. There's a lot of kiddos named after Disney characters in particular, and that scope has widened with the inclusion of Marvel and Star Wars properties. So if you're curious what some of those popular names are, let's give a little pomp and circumstance with DJ Benny Babadocious. <laughs> Hey, everybody! All the formula that's fit to feed a double dose of diaper rash ointment, DJ Benny Babadocious in the crab, so warn your sib, shaking the foundation across the nation and filling your ears with good vibrations. Benny! Yeah? Just read the names, man. I'm on it like vomit. Ew. Here we go! The top 10 Disney names picked for babies this year. Okay. Hakuna Matata may mean no worries, but Timon is smack dab at the bottom slot at number 10. Okay. Number nine will have you snapping your fingers when this purple nurple is laying down the infinity gauntlet. What? Thanos. People are naming kids Thanos? Skating in at number eight, a baby name off your tongue will roll off. Look out, it's Olaf. Do you have to rhyme everything? It's in my contract, babe. Read the fine print. Nah, I'm good. Well, I'm better. Just, no. Lucky number seven, popular Disney baby name, just can't wait to be king. So everybody look left, everybody look right. Everywhere you look, he's stead into the spotlight. Simba! Woot. Number six is a tale as old as time, but your baby could be our guest and put this name to the test. Bell. <sighs> Are we done yet? Whoa, we're halfway there. Whoa, living on a prayer? I was going to say devil may care. <laughs> No, you weren't. Anyway, fifth most popular Disney baby name this year. Okay. If you're feeling brave, uh -huh. Merida is your fave. Nope. Holding steady at number four, the street rat who's never had a friend like me. Look out, John Madden. Make way for Prince Aladdin. Well, what about Prince Ali of Babwa? That'll make the list, babe. I just read them. Okay. We're the home stretch, everybody, with the number three most popular Disney baby name, a Palpatine, if you know what I mean, a Mary Sue, how do you do? Hey, hey, it's Ray. Yay. Number two's a name to sink your toes in as we return to the land of Frozen. Elsa. Ice cold, Bubba, but hand me a bottle opener because it's not a twist off oh Kristoff ah total dork right <laughs> yeah and coming in at number one the most popular Disney character that people are naming their babies after is we're coming in for the kill just say he could be a better pill you're such a shill it's Quill wait a minute it Quill? Like, not even Peter? Mass confusion dude people will think of Parker well yeah if, if you end up being named Quill though you actually do have several other options for explanations, like there's Star-Lord. Yeah, or a pet. Yep. Part of an arrow. Just in this. Pulling the plug. And now, a literal audiobook by Tony Denza. Okay, so uh, the cover's a bunch of weird sci-fi crap. Uh, yeah, there's a robot that kind of looks like Post Malone, if he didn't write with a Sharpie all over his face. Uh, he's hugging a vacuum cleaner. Uh, it's got the giant head of B. Arthur, uh, all against the backdrop of stars. Uh, oh, wait a second. Maybe it's uh, like a really dirty aquarium that needs to be cleaned. Uh, inside cover is a plot synopsis. Couple of blank pages, uh, dedication to the author's former combat ballet instructor. You know, it's all the huge. The story's a bunch of good versus evil, shades of gray, romance, intrigue, action, betrayal, lasers, a musical number, Swan Lake while navigating a minefield. <laughs> who knew? The end. Okay, who wants pasta? From my top secret underground bunker in Pahrump, Nevada, where the deer and the antelope play. And by play, I mean revealing themselves to be bloodthirsty aliens wearing deer and antelope costumes. Conspiracy here, with all the news you can't use. Page one. If I said there was an actual job where you get paid to do nothing, would you think I was loopy on bus fumes? Sounds too good to be true, don't it? Well, this job is real enough to make Brendan Fraser cry during a six-minute standing ovation. Shoji Morimoto, 38 years old, makes $71 a gig. What's the gig, you ask? Simple. To do like most young, clueless sheeple and just sit around playing on their phone while simply hanging out. Get your mind out of the gutter. There's no funny business here. All's on the up and up. Shoji's married with a kid. So you see, people who want to look like they have some sort of social life rent the man. Companion rentals are a thing. In Japan, anyway. Before you ask, he has turned down potential clients who wanted him to do other stuff, like travel out of the country or do physical labor, like moving a fridge. Honestly, I can't blame him. If he did those things, he'd actually be doing something for a living. And we can't have that. 
page two. What looks like a Mad Max post-apocalypse is better known as Burning Man, a hippie community project in the Nevada desert. Nowhere near me, thank God. Strangely, no UFO activity, even when the ceremonial Burning Man figure is lit on fire. Now, I'm all for artistic expression, but being packed like sardines outdoors isn't something I want to do or smell. With this infernal heat wave, maybe they should change the name from Burning to B.O. <laughs> Once all is said and done, all the traffic leaving at once caused massive gridlock lasting eight hours. Limited gas supply, not all cars having AC. Maybe they should just do this whole thing on Zoom next time. Get Mark Zuckerberg's meta project involved. Make it ARVR, hardy har har. Just shoot me. Page three. The James Webb Telescope is transmitting the most colorful, detailed pictures of the universe ever seen. Yeah, right. Don't always trust your eyes, folks. French science nerd Etienne Klein decided to drive that point home when he initially tweeted what he claimed was the distant star Proxima Centauri. He soon revealed it was actually a slice of chorizo. Twitter, trolled by Spanish sausage. Now will you question everything, dear public? Is this an interstellar object, or is it a piece of food, or dare I say a body part, grapefruit, or Aunt Bertha's hairy mole? You're being duped, and I am officially pooped. And I'm spent. I was getting hungry, but now I feel nauseous. That's all the news you can't use. Get Spiracy here, and I'm gonna hurl! Ah, look at the time. The intergalactic boombox is known to cause adverse side effects, including bloating, a constant state of wondering where your keys are, and chronic whistling. Portions of this podcast are saved on a random thumb drive that got misplaced last week. Remember, kids, opportunity is always knocking. Either that or Postmates. Till next time, totals.